everyone. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to the Kedron factory. So today we're going to have a run through Owen and Patricia's brand new Kedron CP5 in the compact. Beautiful van here. So this one's 16 foot. They've maintained the length of 16 foot in the compact and they've gone to the upgrade of having the three ton ATM. So with that is an eight stud dual caliper disc brake setup. So this here has some pretty serious braking power, but uh, the van itself is certainly a wonderful compromise of just having so many features in it. To have that extendable Island Queen bed at the front, the rear full ensuite, a really nice large open cafe dinette, and then the kitchen space all with that 300 amp lithium power pack. So you can see inside here, that 300 amp lithium power pack, all beautifully inset there and steel in case. So this one is riding on the Kedron KRS or the Kedron recovery stub suspension, all being uniquely developed and tested for the Kedron owners. So just stepping inside the van here, you can see that extendable and retractable Island Queen bed there. So when it's back with that bolster header up, you can see it's got a really nice roomy amount of access between the bed and the dinette. And then also in this layout has that lift up kitchen bench extension here. So you can have the best of both worlds there, the access or have your kitchen bench space. But that has that deluxe locally made bamboo pocket spring underneath there and then underneath the pillows here you can see the bolster head there for the extension of that bed itself swiveling around here is a beautiful color combination in this so you can see that full oven the sink there with the glass lid the microwave the electronics heartland up the top this one has the full height mirrored entrance into the ensuite and it has like a smoky colored genuine hide leather in this. So against that varnish trim here and to that marble look in that laminate, up to that pearl white in the overhead cupboards and to the feature wall with that graphite, it certainly gives a beautiful quality feel to this van. Like you just walk inside and it's just, yeah, it is a beautiful van. So colors, obviously personal choice, layout, styles, features, everything. So it is fantastic to see all the different ones coming through. Uh, and this one here is certainly no different. It is a beautiful looking van. So here we'll just fold out. That has the bifold table. So to get your full width in the tables, very easy. You can simply fold that out. There's some welcome gifts there with some mugs and tactical pens and key rings and swiveling round to show how that open feel of that cafe dinette with the lift up leg extensions is. Down on the floor is the commercial grade tiles and then lifting up to have a little bit of an overview from inside the ensuite. You can see the amount of storage wrapping all the way around. Certainly plenty of that. It has the marine grade push and twist lock catches full height stainless steel piano hinges there. Up top is the die bond in the roof, so that's an aluminium ceiling. Above that is the Australian made non-toxic thermoblock insulation. To the right there, you can see the remote controlled roof aircon in a nice slimline there. Into the walls of the van, so all Kedron's feature, the interlocked aluminium frame. They have a high tensile steel pin punch and that secures it all together there. In between, that is the non-toxic Australian-made insulation as well. And you can see here those knock-in plastic grommets there that protect the wiring as it passes through that aluminium frame. Back into the van, you can see the recessed pockets either side of the bed head there of the pillows. So they have the blue lights on. You can obviously have the blue lights off but it just gives a nice feature there and pulls in with the night blue light of the entrance step and here in the electronics heartland up also. Just swivel around and show either side of the bed with the windows. So there's a single on the door side and there's a large set of dual slim lines on the off side. 
So you have the ability to have one up, one down, both up, both down. Just depends if you want the insulation and the privacy or you prefer to have the view out and your ventilation. Really nice large amount of storage here as well. So the pull out cutlery drawers. So it has the metal sided roller drawers on those. To the right hand side of this is the Tetford fan forced oven. So a separate griller. Up top is three gas burners and one 240. Above this is some welcome chockies and bubbles. Some fireproofing here against the splashback. Up into the electronics. Uh, that isn't flicking like it is on the camera. It's just, I guess, the frame rate of the camera. Up top here is the controller for the instant gas hot water system. The Pioneer head unit is CD, USB and Bluetooth. Below this are the readouts for the Psy Marine. So that there gives you the readout of the 300 amp lithium power pack on the outside. You've got your water level indicators as well as your amps going in from the DC to DC and the solar. And this is the controller for the 60 amp charger combined with the 1600 watt inverter. In between the kitchen space and the ensuite is the Slimline Vitrofrigo compressor fridge freezer. So it has its own recessed ventilated sealed box on the outside. And then there is the full height of the mirror into the entrance of the ensuite. Certainly gives it a more open feel there. Entering into the ensuite is another extension on the mirror space as well. So Owen and Patricia have gone for the increase in the mirror height here. So deleted that overhead cupboard space because there's so much underneath there as well. So mini basin in the ceramic is nice and easy to keep clean. And then the blue nightlight next to the toilet there also. Wall mounted washing machine here. So they're strengthened with noggins in between that interlocked aluminium frame. Recess there for the towel rail holders and the toilet roll holder. And we'll just swivel around to the shower itself. So the shower head, there is the shampoo and shower gel dispenser down to the flick mixer. And then the footrest. So the inside of the shower here has the aluminium dive on in the wall and that overlays into that slip and crack resistant shower base there that's all been folded, welded and locally powder coated. Certainly a beautiful van there for Owen and Patricia and they have purchased this all the way from Victoria. So this is about to go on a truck. So it's getting interstate trucked down to Melbourne and they would be well looking forward to this beautiful van heading their way. I will just have a wrap around on the outside and then we will pack this down and get it set for the truck to load up. So like we say, this is a 16 foot. So it's had the three ton ATM upgrade with the eight stud wheels and the disc brake with the twin caliper. There is an option when you go to the three ton ATM to go up a foot in the compact, still maintain that single axle, uh, but have a little bit more space. So you will lose a bit of your payload because it will go up obviously a touch heavier. But with this one here, Owen and Patricia have sat with the 16 foot and then has the tear at 23.65 with the ATM at three tons. So there's plenty of payload there for them. And they have a Prado that tows three tons. So it will marry up very well indeed with that tow vehicle. Up on top here at the front, you can see it has the smooth composite rollover and that is on the front and the rear. Below that is the Kedron Design registered solar awning. So that adds another 60 watts of solar so they are unique for the Kedron owners. And as we say, design registered to protect that for the uniqueness there. CAD design front box. So these here are all laser cut out of plate alloy powder coated and made to suit each model of the Kedron. So the compact one features the storage up on top. It has the twin four and a half kilo gas bottles that are all boxed in a plate alloy box there. So you can remove the hood or you can access through that porthole to turn your gas bottles on and off as you please. Twin 10 litre jerrys either side with lockable stainless straps there. So you can see you can lock in your spare diesel. And then this has the electric power jack at the front with that padded cover to protect it from the elements. Wrapping around to the side here is a laser cut alloy pull out basket for additional storage. Above this is a lockable diesel filler there and that feeds into the well housed and protected 
diesel storage tank there for that heater. Front scrub protection plates on this genuine Rhino coated and then this wraps down to a gas bayonet outlet. This has the slide out 50-50 storage box there so it has the lower profile on the front as a provision for a portable barbecue and behind for storage. Inset on the left as we showcased before is the 300 amp lithium power pack. This one here also has the Aussie Traveller full set of walls. So that there fully encloses as a full enclosed annex itself. On the front that white antenna there is for the mobile phone booster repeater. So that there basically lifts up and then it has the ability to take the lower signal of mobile phone, boost it and re-emit it on the inside of the van. This here is the eight stud wheel. It's on this compact and you can see through the spokes of the wheel and it has dual disc calipers. So I'll overlay a bit of a shot here just to show with that wheel off. The twin disc brake calipers. So a huge amount of stopping power there. We will just jump underneath the van now and have a bit of a look up. So this has those KRS protection plates all formed in part of that hot dip galvanized chassis. Back towards the front are the food grade water tanks made unique for the Kedron owners again with an Australian made company. So these feature the water baffles. They also have the recessed fittings for the rock protection. They bolt straight to the chassis and they have internal strengthening on these. So I've done a lot of test towing with these vans and then to have, I will showcase here a little bit of an overlay of a compact, just with the weight distribution, the water tanks, just how stable these tow as here overtaking a B-double truck. So beautifully stable in the vans. We've also recently just been doing some test towing with the new release Hilux. So only last week, the new Hilux was released there so the auto now has a brake towing capacity up to three and a half ton with an engine upgrade. So there's more power output as well as developments with the suspension. So we've been doing some test towing with that and we will continue to do some more, but it is uh, fantastic to get out and see how the vehicles perform both with and without the vans on. So we also did a trip over to Morton only last week and just to see how the vehicle performed there throughout, say, the creek crossings, the soft sand turns, uh, going up and down the cuttings to get in and out or off the beach into the tracks. And then also, obviously, back out for some dirt road towing and then bitumen road as well through the mountain ranges. So uh, we'll do a separate vid on that soon and put them all together. But back to Owen and Patricia's van here is certainly one well-featured single axle compact. To have that three ton ATM on the single axle and the additional payload by keeping it at 16 foot certainly has opened this up for additional packing and loading and one that Owen and Patricia should well look forward to receiving, packing up and being able to look forward to head off when it's safe to do so. Inside there is the remote compressor for that Italian made Vitra Frigo, so the compressor fridge freezer. Below this is the instant gas hot water system and underneath there is the grey water tank outlet. So that can be closed off like that is there if Owen and Patricia are in a national park or an eco-sensitive area, it might be a water catchment area. And then if they are somewhere where it is safe to do so, they have a sullage connected up at a caravan park, they leave that open and that lets the washing up water and the shower water to run out there safely. Nice Kedron emboss there on the side of the dye bond, another LED keyless drop table there. Looking inside the electronics heartland here on the outside of the van. So with these here, when Owen and Patricia are traveling on dirt roads, they can simply press button those stainless buttons closed that will seal this off. When they do so, inside here is a thermostat controlled fan. So they'll be able to switch that switch there to auto. And then when this warms up with the charging, that fan will kick on and draw the warm charging air into the cabin of the van where the filtered compression hatch for pressurizing the inside of the van with filtered air will then be pushing out the air 
out of the door vent for the gas codes. So the vans always have permanent roof to floor ventilation for the gas codes. And that is one very nice looking van. Down the front here are the provision or is the provision for a generator. So that houses and fits both popular generators in the 2.2s of the Honda and the Yamaha. And I will just swivel back here and just give a little bit of an overview to just showcase that beautiful new van. So Owen and Patricia, on behalf of the whole Gaul family and all the Kedron team, thank you very much for choosing Kedron. We all wish you many safe and enjoyable travels into the future. To everyone else, thank you very much for all of the likes, the comments, the shares, uh, all your subscriptions to the channel. We've got a fantastic growing YouTube family here at Kedron. So thank you very much for this. It is wonderful to see the interest, to see the different models, sizes, layouts and colors as they roll through. And this one here is no different. So thank you once again for tuning in here in Australia and all around the world to our great friends in America, over in Europe, Russia, all around the world. So thank you all once again. I will wrap it up now and let this van get packed down to get on the truck. Thanks to everyone, Owen and Patricia, we may catch you on the track someday. If not, we might catch up with everyone on the next walkthrough. Thanks again all, stay safe and bye for now.